The recent spate of large-scale security lapses and ransomware attacks at enterprises and CSPs alike is shining an ever brighter light on the topic of cyber security. Data centers and individual remote employees who are now accustomed to working from anywhere are often the focus of such attacks. And in these cases, security breaches can impact business performance as well as customer and employee satisfaction. So what can be done to address these challenges? Well, let's find out from Bob Gaffari, General Manager, Enterprise and Cloud Networking Division at Intel, and Craig Connors, VP and CTO, Service Provider and Edge Business Unit at VMware. So Craig, let's start by looking at uh, performance. Uh, following the pandemic, the workforce wants and expects the ability to work from anywhere without compromising their application experience. They want service performance consistency. Uh, what can CSPs do to help enterprises enable this? Yeah, great question. And, and I think this is where SASE or Secure Access Service Edge really comes into play. We have this modern distributed workforce. Workers are spread out all over the place. Applications have moved, not just in the data center, data center, public cloud, SaaS services. And we want that consistent experience that employees have come to expect, regardless of where they are, regardless of where the application is. And to your intros point, we need to do it in a way that's secure so that users are not impacted by all of these attacks that are going on in the world. And that's where SASE really comes as a benefit. A couple key things for CSPs here. First, there's obviously a benefit to CSPs in terms of being able to capture revenue as we move from corporate networks and MPLS and traditional means of connectivity to this larger distributed workforce. But there's also a benefit that CSPs provide uniquely to the end customers that might not be immediately apparent. And that is, as our workforce distributes, and I go from say 50 corporate offices to hundreds or thousands of employees working remote, the burden on corporate IT staffs has grown significantly. And so a lot of customers are looking to CSPs to help them offload some of the management of this new larger distributed network that they have to monitor so that they can empower their remote workers, but without having to take that entire burden on themselves. Uh, and, and Craig, looking specifically at security, I mean, the threats are persistent and prevalent these days. Uh, and this is exacerbated by the use of dozens of applications that are accessed and consumed in a number of different ways, including as a service models. Uh, a distributed workforce creates a range of unique circumstances, each with its own vulnerabilities. What advice can you give to IT leaders who are looking to address these growing concerns? Yeah, and, and again, this is where the SASE architecture strengths really show. Uh, in SASE, you have multiple types of security, cloud web security, where we're providing things like secure web gateway, URL filtering, cloud access security brokers, data loss prevention for web and SaaS applications, also firewalls of service, where we're securing east-west traffic through the network, as well as north-south traffic with IDS, IPS, anti-malware, and other advanced security techniques. And by delivering this in the cloud from geographically distributed points of presence close to the users, you get a consistent security policy applied regardless of whether you're in the office or out of the office accessing an app on-prem or off-prem. You get a single central point to monitor that. And as new vulnerabilities are discovered, as new security techniques roll out, because you're leveraging the power of the cloud, you're automatically getting the advantage of these new innovations and new updates that come out. You're not having to upgrade a stack of firewalls sitting in your data center anymore. As soon as a, an exploit is found and fixed, as soon as a new security capability rolls out, it's there as a service in the cloud for you to consume and protect your users. And that's really what helps you address that agility problem to react to these emerging threats. So, Bob, let's come to you now. Uh, Secure Access Service Edge, or SASE, offers a range of solutions to the challenges that Craig just outlined. Uh, what is Intel doing in networking and security? Yeah, thanks. Uh, so in terms of uh, network and security, you know, the way we think about this is uh, in a couple of the, the dimensions. You know, what is it that we're doing to enable the seamless capabilities that are needed from a hardware standpoint. So that's one of the key 
things we think about because you know in this uh, new usage model um, where and how you place the hardware is really important and having the platform that hardware platform be able to take it, take advantage of um, the updates to the software and 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 then what we do is we work on the software building blocks that power the SASE solutions and so these software building blocks are things like OpenSSL, is things like Suricata or Snort and having the fastest pattern matching capabilities there to find malicious traffic. It's doing things to sort of adhere to some of the new AI and um, ML usage models for network and security and making sure that the frameworks run really, really well so you can make these decisions practically real time uh, using um, some of the new usage models as it pertains to AI and ML. But bringing this together in a platform that can address the standard way that you would normally deliver your security solutions, but also augmenting it with the new ways of finding threats and addressing these things real time. Okay, great. Thanks, Bob. Uh, and, and what is Intel doing with VMware to improve the capabilities and offerings of communication service providers? So with VMware, we have a very close partnership. And what we really try to do is complement each other in terms of where and how we can help. And where we find that Intel can really help VMware is one, making sure that we're delivering the best hardware on the edge as well as um, in the cloud um, or the network edge, if you will. So that's one of the first things that we do. And, and the, the way we sort of look at this is you need a platform to solve today's problems, but you also need a platform that can solve tomorrow's problems. And as the software evolves and as you deliver these new releases, you wanna make sure that the platform can keep up with these new ways of addressing these kind of problems. And so the way that we work with VMware is to make sure that um, we're enabling that seamless, transparent way of delivering the hardware that can run this awesome software. Okay, so really important developments there for enterprises and communication service providers alike. Bob, Craig, thanks very much for joining us today and giving us an update on what your companies are doing. Thank you.